One of the ways that the internet can work is when people choose to collaborate together. So recently, coming back from the ACS New Orleans meeting, uh, I was tweeted a request to put some information up on ChemSpider so that it could be reused in Wikipedia. I'll walk through the story, it's very short. Carmen Drahl was live blogging the first time disclosures of drug structures from the New Orleans ACS meeting, hashtagged ACS NOLA. You can actually see the page here. I need to show the page this way because actually it is copyrighted by ACS. Actually right at the bottom here, copyright 2013 the American Chemical Society. But this is what Carmen was doing. She was going into the sessions and she was drawing the structure and then was telling a little bit of a story about what she'd heard during the presentation. So I, ca I can't show that screenshot, but I could show you there captured in a, in a movie. Hopefully, it's copyright. I got the request via Twitter from Egon Willighagen, who I work with fairly closely on a number of projects, especially the Open Facts project. And I said I'd landed at Philly Airport and I'd try and get this done before I got home. In fact, I ran out of time, uh, but I got some of it done. So all I did was I drew the chemical structure for the compound of interest. This was the BMS compound, 906024 as I recall. Let me see, yeah, 906024. So I drew it. This is my drawing package of choice, uh, chem sketch, because I was involved with it for a number of years. I drew it. I saved it as a mol file. I went to ChemSpider. I logged in. I loaded the structure and accepted it for deposition. I added some information, BMS, identifier. In my email I received confirmation that it had been pre-processed. That means that inches are generated, molecular formula is, is generated, smiles, uh, using a whole standard set of tools that we use for everything that we deposit on ChemSpider. So at least we have internal consistency for everything we do on ChemSpider. Then I received an email telling me uh, once I'd accepted the, and confirmed that it was published and this is the chemical structure ID on ChemSpider, 28536138, if you want to check it. This is what it looks like. Uh, it gives you some warning flags, three of three defined stereo centers, which it should have, they're absolute. <coughs> the systematic name is generated using software we have in our hands. Molecular formula is, is of course, put together by assembling number of carbons, protons, etc. We calculate the average mass, the monoisotopic mass, and a whole set of other um, um, phys, prem, phys chem properties, etc. The original Wikipedia drug box that was already in place for this uh, article on Wikipedia, as I've shown, uh, PubChem ID was already integrated. The formula and the, mole and the molecular mass was here. The smiles generated. Uh, first thing I would notice is that there's there's no stereochemistry in the smiles. Don't know how it was generated. Um, it's just available in the Wikipedia drug box pasted in. So we don't know anything about the tools that we use to generate it. Uh, and she was generated and this was compared with what I generated on ChemSpider and they matched. Certainly the smiles did not match. A couple of other things though. Uh, here we see a difference in mass, so I'm choosing to put the the average mass up there. I'm going to add that to Wikipedia and replace the one that's already there. The molecular formula I match. Uh, this is the Wikipedia smiles, and as I commented, there is no stereochemistry in the ChemSpider smile. Uh, there is chem stereochemistry. The ChemSpider smiles, not in the Wiki smiles. And when you convert that smiles from Wikipedia back into a structure, uh, you of course get the structure, w the same structure. Skeletally, but no stereochemistry. I would suggest that we actually need the stereo smiles up there. Uh, we have a function on ChemSpider that allows us to actually create a wiki box on the fly from the structure inside ChemSpider. It makes things a lot, lot easier. All we do is create, click on wiki box, it opens up wiki box. It has the image there for you to save as a PNG file and upload to, Chem to Wikipedia. Uh, this is the chem box, and it gives you a whole lot of information that's already been generated. The inchy, the inchy key, the standard inchy, the standard inchy key, etc., etc. Generated in chem box format. In fact, there are a whole series of formats. We have the simple format, uh, medium 
powerful. We've got German, Spanish. We've got uh, a simple drug box. Now, this is a drug box that we need associated with this particular compound, as well as the full. So I generated the full drug box, and here we go. We've got the systematic name put in here automatically. The PubChem ID I copied over. The Chem Spider ID is automatic. And the smiles goes in with the stereochemistry and of course the inches there too. So I totally replaced the drug box that was already in place with one generated on Chem Spider. I simply moved the PubChem information over. So conclusions I would say is the best way to generate new records on Wikipedia is actually to deposit them on Chem Spider and then use the wiki box from our side so at least we have all the consistency. Also the, the compound ends up on, on ChemSpider, it has an automatic link to ChemSpider where we have all the other information and we also uh, generate a very clean attractive image on ChemSpider that can be used. So first of all uh, I, I'd like to thank Carmen for doing the hard work which is actually sitting in the sessions and drawing down the chemical compounds uh, Egon for the tweet to uh, ask me to do the linking and uh, hopefully p more people will use the Wikibox technology that we built. It's been there for now for about three or four years, hardly touched by people who work at Wikipedia as far as I know. Uh, it would be nice to get more people to use it. Thank you.